One person in America is sexually assaulted every 68 seconds. So the need for forensic nurses is very high. But unfortunately, nationally, there are not enough forensic nurses to go around and to help these patients. Forensic nurses are first and foremost registered nurses. We come from different backgrounds, but we've been trained in topics such as evidence collection, forensic photography, the neurobiology of trauma, and how it relates to victims of crime and court testimony. All of our patients are victims of crime. Everything we do for the patient is about giving that power and control back. Once they are medically cleared downstairs in the emergency department, most of our patients will come up here so they're not in that hectic environment of the emergency department. Once we're up here, we'll do an interview one-on-one -on -one with them. We will do a head-to-toe assessment, and then that head-to-toe assessment, we're looking for any injuries or any findings that do need to be photographed. The entire time that we're doing everything we're doing, we're asking for consent from the patient. At the end of the exam, we'll package up their evidence. We secure it. We do have a secure fridge next door. We will do education. If warranted, we will offer emergency contraception. We'll offer sexually transmitted infectious prophylactic medications, and we will also give resources. Those nurses are specifically trained to know the questions to ask the victim so that when our investigator gets there, they don't have to continue to relive this event time after time after time. Last year in 2022, about 4,000 forensic medical exams were performed by child abuse pediatrics providers who are part of the South Carolina Child Advocacy and Medical Response System. Of those, about 49% were referred for sexual abuse and about 3% were for child sex trafficking and exploitation. In my practice over the past year, I performed about 200 exams and then over a third of those were due to sexual abuse. Many of the patients that I examine have received SANE exams at the Forensic Nurse Examiner program at McLeod. And with their new technology, they're able to then transmit photos or reports securely to me so that I can review them. It also helps them to be able to complete documentation. It allows for a comparison for patients that I ultimately may examine later on. And the evidence that they collect helps me to better convey the diagnosis of child abuse when it's made. Secure digital forensic imaging is SDFI. Using our equipment, the forensic examiner is able to capture forensic digital images, both external and internal, using a series of protocols that we uh, provide to anyone uh, within the medical, legal, or technical community. Those pictures are then moved from the camera system through an SDFI computer and then stored indefinitely on our user's network. When there is a request from either law enforcement or from a prosecuting attorney's office, the SDFI user is able to lock up a specific case using military level encryption and then send unlimited amounts of data over to that recipient. Again, typically law enforcement or a prosecuting attorney's office. From the standpoint of the legal process, documentation is everything. Anytime the court process is ongoing, you have to have proper documentation and be able to present evidence effectively in court to obtain justice. So having that right on the front end is, is really essential to getting the good result on the back end. Our reports have a lot of sensitive information in them, so it's not something that we can just send through the mail or send via email unsecurely. So the SDFI telehealth system that we have allows us to transfer our forensic reports and photos, if we have a search warrant, to law enforcement, the solicitor's office, anybody else who needs it, securely using their military-grade software. 
SDFI's asynchronous telehealth solution is a store and send or a store and forward solution that uses nested end-to-end -end encryption. This process eliminates the need for a third party in the middle that in fact has access to the information and ensures that the data is in fact secure. State and federal statutes related to crime limitations specifically really constitute how long those images need to be kept. SDFI systems allow users to securely store any type of digital file, image or otherwise, in secured volumes that live and reside on an organization's internally controlled computer network. What this does is ensure that the data is always in their possession, not in the cloud or in a third party's hands. That matters when a forensic examiner needs to go to court or is called to court and is asked if in fact they were in control of the data and the information that they collected maybe 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Having a program like at McLeod is extremely important. Prior to the start of the Forensic Nurse Examiner program, patients frequently had to travel very far distances and many didn't receive exams. And so this gives us the ability to document those injuries so that we can provide accurate and trauma-informed care for these patients. I think what inspires me the most to do this job, because I've been doing this job for 12, 13 years now, is just knowing that we are here to help somebody in their time of need. A lot of people won't report. They're ashamed, they're afraid. Their biggest fear is nobody's going to believe them. So just to let somebody know that we are here, we will believe you, and that we can help them on their journey from victims to survivors is what inspires me.